Hi, I've done this um, narrow boat painting video as a follow up to the one that I showed you on our Life in the Nutshell channel in Fast Forward. So this one here on this art channel is for anybody who's really interested in the steps that I took to make the castle painting. Um, I did a course at Stoke Bruin um, on castles and roses or roses and castles and I've taken the techniques and sort of made them my own a little bit and done this painting with folk art paint instead of the traditional enamel paints. And I've used traditional methods or painting techniques and a bit of my techniques and sort of mixed it up. So it's not traditional, it's just my take on it. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you, see ya. First thing I'm gonna do is work on the background, the sky up here and the water here. So I've got white and I'm also using aqua, Josonia aqua. This, so I'll just lay down some background. Get started. Just going to give it a quick spray, otherwise it just sucks up too much paint. This is white. And it's going to go dark to light from the bottom and dark to light from the top. And I'll give this two coats so it gets a nice deep colour. Dry it between the coats. I've got this brush and I wouldn't normally use this brush, I'd leave it the way I've done it. But because I happen to have it, it's a wonderful brush for levelling everything off and it looks beautiful. So that's your dark. That's your light. So you get a really nice finish. Make sure you flip it, otherwise it will mix it all up. See? Nice. Next I'm going to do another layer, just like the first layer. Just richer now. Covering better. It's nice if it's got stripes. It makes it look interesting. That's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that? Next step is to put the mountains in and they're going to go about just past a third of the way down. Because this is dark, I'm going to use a mix of sort of rough mix of white and the blue. So just go across and wiggle another one. And then again and that one. Keeping it quite light because I need a contrast between the two. Another one up there. Next, I'm going to put the shadows under the mountains. That side. That side. And then just make it a bit more interesting and bring that down. And now I'm going to trace this pattern that I've made onto painting. So I've got carbon paper underneath and I'm using a tool that they use for putting pretty dots on your nails. I'm not doing the little details and I'm not doing the mountains because you don't need to do those because you've already got those. So let's stay on the inside of the line. Do we need the horizon? No. No. Need the bridge and the river. There we go. For the bridge and the building, raw umber, linen, tangerine, tangerine first. Filling in the buildings. I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. You don't want to do the roof of that little house because that's going to be red. Right, we'll do the bridge later after we've done the grass. Okay, let that dry then I'll do another coat. So 
second coats on. Right, so I've got my three colours. Now I'm going to build up the shading on the building. So we start with the raw umber on the left side. It doesn't have to be exact. Then the light colour on this side. And I haven't cleaned my brush. One. And the last little one. And then we're just going to sort of blend them. Get a bit more of the orange colour and just blend them. I'm not cleaning the brush, I want it all to sort of just be a bit rustic. That's orange on there again, turn it in. This is not the way they do the traditional painting, they do it in like one brush stroke, but this is my version. That's how I'm doing it. Last one, a bit of orange, tangerine, to blend it. This is how I do it anyway. It's just me, it's just my take on it. Blends in quite well. Put the base coat on. You can do this with palette knives too, which is pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. See how I'm working it? I can keep working it, even though it's been a while. do the um, roof of the little housey bit here and that's with lipstick red. So it's going to paint a little red roof. I've got a smaller brush this time. Right, give that two coats. I'm going to paint the grass next with grass green, green and medium yellow. So, I'm going to do dark green on the outside, which is a, just seems to be a um, narrowboat decorative art style. And I'll probably end up doing two coats of this too. Cover up the lines. Now it doesn't matter if you go over the bridge because we're going to go over the bridge in a minute. So that's dark, then we're going to put light in the middle. Sort of in a wave motion. Blend it in. So I've done the green, put that in on both sides. Another coat of green. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow, the yellow, just tiny, just to lighten it up a bit, make it a bit brighter. So I think that's nice. This side.
can reintroduce the other colours to blend it in. Okay, that's done. Another layer on the roof, the little red roof. And just to make it really opaque, another layer of the red. Next, going to run a brown shadow under the top of the buildings. And I'm going to run a brown shadow down the side. Fill in the bridge, same as the hat buildings. Tangerine first. the coat to that. Next coat. Now I'm going to run a brown shadow on the top of the bridge and the bottom of the bridge. Now I'm going to put the roofs on the uh, buildings with this brush. And this one, I'm going to do this. Done the same on the top of the bridge. And I'll flatten the brush out so it makes more of a line detail on here there's shading under the bridge let's do some of these shady lines down the side here the door some windows Put the little masks on and the boat reflections. Just gonna put the side of the red roof on. We might just thicken this up a bit. That's better. Let's put some flags on. Touch that up a bit while I've got the red on me. Let's put some shadows on the bridge end here. Highlights on this end. Now we need a birdie. So I'll flatten the brush out. Oh, I'm just going to put birdie in. There we go, one birdie. Now for a cloud. It's a cloud. Now I'm going to add some white sails and white highlights. White sail, I'll just do one, I think. Flat 
be a brush for this. The water. White down the sides of the building. Bridge. Black ones here. And some bricks. Just a hint. Some bits here. Do the edges around the grass. Highlights on the flags. Flag on the boat. Highlight on the boat. Now I'm going to do the path and we're using lipstick red and tangerine. You get a bit of the tangerine and then a little bit of the red. I'm going to do this. That is about it. Then we need the two greens and medium yellow to do the um, bushes and trees. I just bought this brush in the pound shop. Came in a packet, this one, because you want something that's just like a bristle brush and I thought that's pretty cool for doing the bushes so we'll see how it gets on, see how it goes. So get a bit of the, no, we want brown as well, so brownie black, so we get a bit of the brownie black. It's just the brown with a little bit of black in there, I want it quite dry. And then we're going to put some trees, I'm going to put bush here. Oh that works really well. And here, one on the building, and then I'm going to do a tree here, bush here, so that's the dark. Now it's the dark green, a bit of that one, it's my tree the tree, more bushes. This works really well. It's a good brush for this. A little bush there, maybe a few little bits here and there, just to soften it all. Okay, that's that layer. And the next layer is yellow. And just do this on the right hand side, on the top, sort of on the right hand side because that's where the sun's coming from. And the tree. Bushes. Big tree. And then just a few bits here and there. Okay. That's done. Now with your mix of the black and the brown, or you could just use just brown, but this brown isn't very dark. I've got my number two Bob Ross liner brush, which is divine. Up. And this tree. And then you've got this lovely tree here. It's a bit heavier. And these little bushy things. Got some dashes, and then you can put some little reeds in the water. Do them in odd numbers, and do some on the shore. You can cover up that if you want. You can cover up that. I'm gonna make this trunk a bit thicker. So it's more like a tree. Yeah, that's better. 
Now I just got to finish off the path. So flat brush is your path. I'm going to put some little red highlights on these ones at the front. That's with the bottom end of your brush. And the ones on the bridge. I think it's finished. Final touch. 